everyone. Welcome to JPTV. If you are new here, thank you so much for coming. I definitely appreciate your support. In today's video, I'll make this super quick. I am going to be covering all the different restaurants on the Discovery Princess cruise line. Now, if you are new here to my channel, I do have a video which I will link below and it will be at the end of this. I will tag it on but I did a full vlog on the cruise. All of the things that we did, um, just a day-by-day -day vlog. Um, but in today's video, I am focusing more on the restaurants within the cruise line so that you can get a good idea of what's there, what was good, what wasn't, um, and my thoughts on everything that has to do with food on this cruise ship. So. If that's something that interests you, then keep on watching. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about before I jump into the different restaurants is I wanna let you know a little bit about this cruise if you don't know. Um, Discovery Princess is a cruise boat that actually uh, is docked in um, San Pedro, California, but it also goes to Alaska. So it also docks in Seattle and there's um, cruises to Seattle, to Seattle. There's cruises to Alaska, which I really would love to do that cruise. Um, I really enjoyed this boat a lot. And so it's actually on my bucket list. So hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. But um, this particular cruise that I went on was a, let's see, we left on a Thursday, came back on a Monday. So it was a four day, four night uh, cruise to um, San Diego. So from San Pedro to San Diego to Ensenada and then back to San Pedro. So um, it was a very... Um, quick cruise but absolutely fun and plenty of time i've done shorter cruises like the weekend one like the friday to sunday but this definitely gave you more time to really enjoy the boat so my recommendation especially if you're not sure it's your first cruise this is the type of cruise you want to go on a short one so you can kind of find out and see if you get seasick or anything like that so i am going to put this out there before i get into the restaurants because i think it's important to note if you do get seasick or car sick or anything like that, you can you can get patches like at CVS or Walgreens, any other type of drugstores, but you can also get a prescription dose that is actually more um, effective from your doctor. You just gotta tell your doctor that you struggle with um, motion sickness and they will prescribe it to you. I actually had them prescribe it to me. It helped me a lot. Um, however, it gave me a total different side effects, which, I won't get into in this video. So without further ado, I'll stop rambling and let's jump in to the restaurants on this boat. So like I mentioned, I'm not gonna cover every single restaurant on the boat because there's too many. I do wanna say that the ones that you're assigned to for your evening dining, there's different ones, but they all serve the same food. So I'm gonna talk about the dining room that I was assigned to, but the same food was available at all three of the dining restaurants, which is Juno. That's the one that I was assigned to. Um, that's going to be one of the latter um, restaurants I'm going to be talking about. So first I want to talk about the buffet. So it is called World of Fresh Marketplace, as you can see here. And this place um, is open all day long. So it has um, breakfast, lunch, dinner. It has dessert, so I'm actually going through here right now. It's lunchtime. I'm with my mom, as you can see, and we're just kind of walking around, just scoping it out. This is the salad bar. Um, there's just so much stuff, you guys, like I can't even begin to explain. And for a buffet, I have to admit, it was absolutely delicious. Every time we went, we enjoyed everything that we ate. My mom, I'm just following her, she's wandering around, but um, they had everything from pasta to Mexican food to Asian food, anything you can imagine they had. So next, this is just what the dining room looks like, the seating area, this is where we ate breakfast every single morning, super comfortable, love it. Here's a sample of something that I ordered, which you can see is eggs, hash browns, there's a croissant and a piece of bread, that bread, was so good and then some potatoes and then the next video that I'm going to show you here is dinner so as you can see I really mix it up I got a taco I've got some lasagna some salad some ravioli some corn I think that's mole on the side of my taco if I remember correctly but it was absolutely fantastic now moving on to dessert 
there was a wide variety of desserts as you can see here so many choices they also had a little coffee bar inside this dessert station which i'll take you to in a moment but you could get fruit um, and then um, here you go with the coffee bar we tended to end up going to the coffee bar down at the um like right in the middle of the boat as you can see here we're kind of hanging out we're drinking coffee we drank way too much coffee. This coffee shop was a 24 hour coffee shop that had coffee, pastries, and many, many other things. All right, the restaurant I'm gonna talk about next is the Gigi's Pizzeria. Gigi's Pizzeria is right here on, I think it was the main deck where the piazza is. Oh, it was right above. Okay, so as you can see here, we were up on the top. So. It was like deck seven. I'm gonna have to look into that actually. I'll pop it up in the corner so you can see where it was at. But here's the menu, which I'm gonna show you next. There's so much that you can order. There's pasta, there's pizza, I mean, a wide variety. This is a specialty restaurant. So in order to eat here, you have to either have the package where you are allotted to specialty restaurants or you have to pay a cover fee. We had the package where we were allotted two specialty restaurants over the course of the weekend. So here, as you can see, I got myself a calzone. It was so good. I love calzones more than I love pizza. Okay, Ooh, what do we got going on here? So next, I'm gonna talk about the salty dog. So take a look at this. This is right by the pool. They have hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, they've got fish and chips, french fries, I mean, hot dogs, everything you can want and more. So it's Okay, next up is the Juno dining room. This was our sell away dinner. So as you can see here, there's a wide variety. There's appetizers, there's a main meal, there's pasta. They had everything from seared mahi-mahi, fried chicken. I actually got their ceviche, as you can see here. It was so good in their french onion soup. Another night I had mahi-mahi with um, cauliflower rice, as you can see here, that was really good too. I really, really enjoyed the dinners. They were delicious. Next we have the Ocean Terrace Seafood Bar. This is where they have sushi. This is also technically a specialty restaurant, but it's not really a restaurant, it's kind of like a bar, like in the middle of the piazza. So much fun, you get to hear all the great music, they make your sushi right there, um, and it, quite frankly, for a cruise boat was really, really good. We enjoyed it. So here's the menu. As you can see, they've got everything. Sorry for the menu, it's super blurry. And um, they got appetizers, specialty starters. They've got sashimi and they've got sushi rolls. This is what we ordered. Um, this is my sister sitting next to me and then this is me right here in the front eating my roll. I don't even remember what I ordered, but I just remembered it was really, really good. And we knew when we saw they had a sushi bar that we definitely wanted to check this place out. So my recommendation would be, and it was super cheap. I think the roll that we got was like $8 maybe, but because it was a specialty restaurant, it was covered in our package. All right. And the last thing I'm going to talk about you guys is actually not on the boat. It is in Ensenada. It was a restaurant that we went to. I thought I would just throw that out there especially if you go on this particular cruise, because I would definitely recommend checking this place out. So when you get off the boat and you go across the Malacan is what it's called, which is means boardwalk. So when you go across their boardwalk, um, they have a whole bunch of restaurants. The one we actually went to, gosh, I don't remember what the top, what it was called on the top. Oh, here we go. As you can see here, it's Marisco's 646. Um, it was really good. We um, had great music. We could see the water on the other side of us. This place was really, really good. Here's what we ordered. I got some ceviche on a tostada. And then look at this salsa, you guys. They gave us three different salsas. We didn't even ask for it, but they gave it to us. And their salsa was so good. I would highly recommend going here if you decide to go into Ensenada and walk across the Malacan. So... All in all, um, the food was great. And I've been on a lot of cruise ships. And quite frankly, most of the cruise ships I've been on, the food wasn't that great. I mean, it was okay. You felt like, okay, it was all inclusive, so it was all right. But there was not one place that I ate at that I felt like, eh. 
I mean, maybe one of the dinners I really liked my fish. I liked the ceviche, but it wasn't like what I would imagine ceviche. It wasn't lemony enough. Like for me, I like my ceviche like like soaking in lemon. And so on the cruise ship, the ceviche was okay. Now in Ensenada, the ceviche was fantastic, but on the cruise ship, it was just okay. But everything else was so good. I, you know, I got the drink package and we were talking after me and my niece and my sister and my mom. And we're like, wait a minute, we didn't, we barely drank at all. I probably drank more right now doing this video than I did on the cruise ship and our drinks were included. And I'm not particularly sure why. I just, I just wasn't feeling it. We spent most of our time at the coffee shop. I think I got probably four to five coffees a day and it's all you can drink. Well, it's not all you can drink. You get like 13 drinks a day, which includes all your drinks. That includes your soda, your alcohol or coffee but most of our drinks were coffee. Um, so we found ourselves at the coffee shop quite often, um, but all in all, we had a fantastic time. I would definitely recommend this cruise ship and this particular cruise. You know, it may not seem exciting, especially if you live in California, going to San Diego and Ensenada, but it wasn't where we went, it was the people. And that's what I have to say about vacations is that it's the people that you're with that make a vacation, not where you go, not what you're doing, but family it is everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and give it a thumbs up. And like I mentioned earlier, if you want to check out my vlog of the whole cruise, go ahead and stay tuned and it will show up at the end of this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers.